What are you with? We're actually independents. This will probably go to somebody. What do you mean independent? Well, you know, we're just we're footage gathering. You think I said too much at the other place? No, I just, I just like to know what you saw. We were all standing at 23rd Street. There were hundreds of us, and we were watching the second building, and it was just burning and burning and burning really quick. And then all of a sudden, it just went like those little matchbox toys when you're a little kid. It just went, and the smoke went up at least as high as the, the tower that's up now. And uh, look at that, the fire. If they don't stop that, the same thing's going to happen with that. I don't see anybody fighting it. How's going to they fight it? The, the, other one, the other one, I'm sure if there was anybody near the ground when that other, it was like an atomic yeah. bomb that hit. Yeah, it was. And it must have went at least 10 or 15 blocks. blocks. Yeah, yeah, it's awful. Thank you. Uh, you're on. I'm going to miss that tower, huh? Uh, you want my name? Yeah, it'd be nice. We were standing all the way down, I guess, by on Church Street, by Church and Franklin, roughly. And uh, we, you know, we saw the. We came out of the subway. We saw the, the building on fire. Someone told us a plane flew into it, and we didn't think anything of it. So we, we just thought it was an walking, accident. And then we heard a loud boom, and that was the second and plane hitting. And we, we saw, saw the, the fire ball. ball. And then. We had stuff to do and we did it, and then we were walking back, and, and we were, we were just, just watching. There. Just, I mean, because you can't not watch it. And it's horrible. then it just. Did you run? Where were you? We, we were, were, we were, we weren't that close, but we could, we were pretty close. We were close. maybe, we were maybe 20 blocks from it, and, and then we all just of a sudden, saw it and I crumble. And it just all of a sudden just we heard like a crack, and then the building just slid off diagonally. No. No, but you could hear it. You I felt. I thought I felt it in my chest, but I'm not sure if that was just, just my heart near, you know, near popping or what. It was. And we and we saw someone who worked in the second building, but was late for work, so she wasn't there, and so we were trying to console she her. She worked in the second building, building, like on the 92nd floor, and it looked like it cracked at the 92nd floor. And that's it. You're welcome. But it might be in a newspaper too, right? Well, where are you in half? Right there, I was there. Because I go to- Stand right in front of me. <coughs> Tell me your name. Charlie White. Okay, go ahead, Charlie. One yeah. second, one second, it's blinking, man. Eh? We're rolling, everything's fine, I got control. Yes, my name is Charlie White. I was just started a new school and I was coming out the train station. I got lost. So I was walking by the um the, the building and all I saw was a a small mini plane just charging into the building, charging into the building, and, and then all you saw was smoke, saw was smoke, and everybody started running and all that. Then the and then the second time, it was just I didn't see it, but I heard it. Oh my God! It went down. I told you, I told you I was gonna go down. Didn't believe me. Bye. Did that crack? Go down. I told everybody, move away, it's gonna go down. Yeah. Told everybody it was gonna go down. Did you get that thing? I was right. What happened? What happened? Look at what happened. There's no buildings. Oh, yeah. I can't oh, yeah. see through the gate. The, the, the building is still standing. Yeah. It's just the top. So right there, Oh, we don't have no more Twin Towers, and I don't think we're going to have any more just ever. That's it. They were really beautiful, man. Those people. Tell us what you saw. I was coming across from uh, the train in, Ho in Hoboken. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Still there. No, it's still it's still there at so some what point. Did you say? I'm sorry? So I saw people coming out of the World Financial World Financial Center saying, Oh my God, at a, right about the time that the plane hit. So I went around the other side and went over by the American Stock Exchange and what, you can see the fire from there. And it was horrific. There was there was their body parts strewn out that way. It was oh. not nice. It was not nice. And how close were you to? I was uh, right there in World Financial Center within uh, you know four hundred feet. Do you work there? I no, I work over one forty Broadway. 
So I uh, scampered out of that area. That's a mess down there right now, I assume, right? From what you can see? From what I could see, it's a mess down there. Okay. Yeah, the response looked very good, but uh, it's difficult. Very difficult. All right, so you saw you saw the whole plane go through it on the first one, right? Yes. And it cut all the way through? Yes. All describe, the way through. Describe it for me real quick. The plane, it came from um, right, and then it wiggled and it went frontwards and it just charged into the building. And, it, it just, and, it, and then it cut, and you can see the, the, the it cut around, and then the fire must have must have melted it as of it to melt, and it just came down. I told y'all in a minus a minute that I knew it was gonna come down. It came down. I don't see it anymore. It's really a major thing. The money. Feelings are out, right? I'm getting pulled, bless you. What are you getting there? Well, I'm just, I'm trying to get a glimpse of the building. Uh, I don't see a little bit of it. Do you? Both of them? All the way down. Did you see uh, Well, there's the probably down? some. Tell me, first, get your mic The first one went pretty fast. The second one, you could see it, it kept burning down, 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 and then all of a sudden, when it got down, probably about half of, the, of it, there was an explosion, and it just caved, caved right in on the whole thing. I'm right here, this distance away from it. So you're in your, because I saw the second one standing after the first one yes. came down, but you think the whole thing went down? Both, both of them went. The second one went, the second one I seen. Yeah, I see the second one. It went one right the into the uh, Two World Trade Center, and it looked like a zillion in the movies. The whole thing was in flame. So you knew the foundation was weak and had to come down. Where was the protection in the airports? You, it's very hard to control. Okay. Name is Nelson Pena. I work in Solomon Smith. Barney, 388 Greenwich, which is literally five blocks away from the Twin Towers. Around 855, we're sitting in our cubicle doing work as usual. All of, a, all of a sudden, you hear a loud explosion, and you're kind of like, what the fuck? What is this? And then you look out the window, it's just one big ball of flame. And at first, we thought it was a bomb. Then we heard uh, stories that it was a plane. So then everybody's just kind of standing there around like 9, 10, 9, 15, 10 minutes later, another plane just comes down and you see it just come, I guess from the south side, just come down all of a sudden like 10 feet away, just spirals down right into the middle and everybody's in shock. And then that's when our building was evacuated. And you know, eventually just walking home, you see both towers, one tower collapsed first and then the second one collapsed and everybody's just hysterical crying and that's about it, it's unbelievable. Did you see it? Did you tell me you oh, and I saw actually one man jump. From you just saw like you know white. While you're watching. Yeah, while you're walking, watching from somebody just jump from the building. I guess there was so much pain and agony, and it's pretty sad. You're kind of lucky to be alive, and thank God. And did you see? Because I was walking down Seventh Avenue, saw the the one tower go down in about two seconds, and it was just horrible, disgusting. It's, I'm in shock. Oh uh, yeah, you yeah, too. We saw from our window. Right, so did we. Where do you work? What floor? Uh, 29th. So, so do I. Really? <laughs> I work in Latin America research. Okay, well, yeah, we're over in the service center. Okay, yeah. PMG yeah, yeah. yeah. You walked home. What'd you say? What, what's your name? What'd you say? Uh, my name is Mark Grancho. I was working over at 388 Greenwich Street. Um, like a little before 9 o'clock in the morning, we heard this big, you know, boom sort of, and no one, you know, we were on the other side of the building, not the side where the World Trade Center was, and people came rushing over and said, you know, there was a plane that had crashed into the building. And we, and we went over there, and there was a, just a big crowd of people watching it. And at that point, we just thought it was an accident. And, um, you know, about 20 minutes later, we saw the second plane just come barrel into the other tower. And, uh, you know, we were just looking at I mean, people were, people were looking. I mean, we were in sh I mean, obviously, everyone was in shock. I mean, at that point, it seemed like it was an accident. I mean, obviously, we could see people that were in the building, like, waving and things like that. 
but at that point we thought it was like an accident and then you know once that happened everyone there just started barreling out of the building i mean obviously it was you know it was an emergency situation it definitely wasn't an accident anymore and it was just what was it like down below when you left um i mean it was outside our building there was just a lot of people standing around but obviously coming you know coming from the world trade center it was just like chaos you saw people just pouring down the street and obviously a lot of sirens and, and ambulances going the other direction and there was just you know just a lot of standing i mean we weren't so close that i don't think anyone thought they were in immediate danger so there was just a lot of people observing crying um just in shock i would say that's weird tell me tell me your name well, my name is Francesca. Francesca, and you were on the Staten Island Ferry? Yeah, Harry? yeah. This morning, about, uh, I left about 20 to uh, 7. So I have this guy in there, and he started having a little small showcase. He started screaming, the Pakistan, and now 300 people are dying. And he started talking like insane. And everybody looked at him like, you know. And, uh, and this was on, on the ferry the at ferry. 7 o'clock? Yeah. Maybe maybe ten to seven or something really? like that. Two hours before this happened. Yeah, yeah. What kind of a guy was that? He was a guy, short guy, and uh, and everybody look at him. Every, a lot of people saw him. From what nationality? Did uh, security. Uh, nobody, come nobody up? got nobody go near to him. He was a then he go Is outside. He yeah, him, him, him. Yeah. Uh, did you see him? Uh, I see him. I'm, I don't know. Was he, what type of nationality was he? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what nationality. No? I don't know if it was a Pakistan. My say started talking talk loud. Everybody here and everybody go crazy. Say, what's the matter? All in the morning. He say, Pakistan, Pakistan. Now a lot of people are out to die. 300 people. And this, it's not a scream. Yeah. How about 5,000? Uh, five, yeah, that's something. Thank you very much. Right? Hold, hold, hold. Let's take it from the top, OK? <laughs> You're interviewing me? Well, we're just, I just want to get what you said. All right, so just tell me what's your name and what you saw from the beginning. Okay? My name is Kate, and um, I work... Kate what? Kate Gonan. It's my nickname. My real name is Vered, and I'm Israeli. And I work um, in a computer company. And, um, and I got out of the subway this morning at 5 to 9, and I was late, and people were screaming and yelling, bomb, bomb, and they didn't let us out of the subway. So when... Um, when... People were rushing towards one exit because there's one exit underneath the building and one on the side. And we went from the exit on the side, I don't remember the street's name right now, and um, you couldn't move. And then when you saw blue, blue, blue light, which is the sky, and then people were screaming and yelling. And there was one building, fire coming out of it. People said people were jumping from the windows. And um, I didn't see anything. That's what I was hearing. It was like, it's on the top floors. I, there were glass falling and 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 a lot of stuff falling and and it was just I, I was walking and people were standing trying to talk on the cell phone crying and and then and then somebody said the buildings are gonna fall and somebody just grabbed me and we start running two blocks up but I had to get to a safe building and I was trying and I was crying and, and, and people were yelling and I got to the building and then in the elevator was a second explosion which was the second crash and then when I got to my office and I saw from the build, from the window I saw the other building blew up and there was stuff falling from it maybe windows or glass and, and we're talking on the phone trying to get everybody to know where they are and then um, we talked on the phone we stayed in the building for maybe half an hour, an hour, when I saw the other building collapse, and it was just horrific. It was magnificent and horrible, and, and, and it was just so bad, and it just fell, and they started evacuating us, and we couldn't get out of the building because there was so much smoke. You get an interview with the towers behind you there. No, no, oh I... I God, look at the that's, that's what it used to be. I, I used to work right there. Yesterday, I went to lunch there. I was supposed to meet my friend there for lunch today. And, and, and it, was just, it was just that it just fell, and we ran down the stairs, and I couldn't How walk. How close were you to the building? I was a block away, a half. Wasn't that dangerous, though? I mean, it was very dangerous, but they told us to stay inside the building because they didn't know what was happening. And then we got the news about the Pentagon being bombed, and we didn't know what's happening. And I talked to my family and they told me stay inside the building but I couldn't. I was I, I had to get out and then when the other building I thought on the phone and and it's just 
I mean, I was standing on the phone when it fell. It just fell like, like. Oh, it, it, okay. Okay, okay people. Yeah. 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 Are you from Israel? Yes, I am. Anything that happened is small compared to this heat. This is like the biggest thing that ever happened. This in is the biggest thing that ever happened. I mean, it's calm and it's scary and, and, and it's like I've been led. There's no way. Oh my God, I have to leave. I have to leave. Is there a way out? The city? I got way to the night. People were just burned and walking with smoke on them and, and, and there's no reception and you can't call anyone.